hello friends welcome to my youtube channel today in this video we are going to draw a thesian polygon in arcgis so for this right click on layers and click to add data and here you have to add your save file of desired location this is my save file after that you have to add your rainfall station data so for this click on files and go to add data after that you have to click to add xy data and here you have to provide longitude and latitude as well as rainfall value of your rainfall station here i will add my data in x field you have to provide longitude in y latitude and z as rainfall finally my rainfall stations have been added to my save file after that you can click this symbol to open your source and here source vertices two point and here click to this features vertices two point in input features provide your stations data and click to ok wait for a while now you can delete previously added stations data layer now i am going to change my save file to hollow click to this symbol so that you can obtain arc toolbox and after that you have to expand analysis tool of arc toolbox and after that expand proximity and there you can find create thesian polygons option click there and in input features you have to provide your stations featured data and here i am going to save my data as initial thesian and click to save now click to environment and here go to processing extent and in default change it to same as layer of your shape file and now click to raster analysis and in cell size make it as specified below and in marks provide your save file and now click to ok and now again click to ok wait for a while to see your result our thesians polygon have been created but we have to clip this so for this go to geo processing and click to clip and in input features provide initial thesian and in clip features provide our shape file now click to ok wait for a while to see your result here we can see that thesian polygon have been created with our shape file as a boundary now right click on clipped initial thesian and go to open attribute table and here you can see attribute table which have provided shape length shape area etc and here click to this option and go to add field and here provide your field name i have provided it as square kilometer and in type change it to double and click to ok and click to yes now you can see a field called square kilometer have appeared now right click on that field and go to calculate geometry click to yes in property we can see that our area has been disabled so we have to perform some tasks to make it enabled so for this you have to right click on layers and go to properties and there you have to go on coordinate system there expand projected coordinate system and after that expand utm and after that you have to expand wgs 1984 after that expand northern hemisphere and from here you should choose your utm zone 
I will choose my UTM zone WGS 1984 UTM zone 42N and click to OK. Now again right click on our edit field and go to calculate geometry and click to yes and in property your disabled area has been enabled and in units change it to square meter square kilometer as your desire I have named this square kilometer so I will change to square kilometer and click to OK click to yes now you can see that area has appeared on square kilometer now we want to label the area in the respective place so for this right click on clipped initial thesis and go to properties after that go to symbology go to categories and there click to add all values and in value field change to square kilometer click to add all values and click to OK. Now go to properties, go to labels, and from here provide label field as square kilometer. If from here you can change size and color of label. I will change color to red. You can change size as per your design and click here label features in this layer and click to ok now we can see area of respective region in kilometer square after this we can use this formula to calculate average precipitation of our basin thank you guys don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel